Hi, my name is Don Chang and welcome to this Open Tunes tutorial series. With our drawings traced, it is time to paint them. First, let's create a new scene. I'll name this Tutorial Scene. I will also have to change the camera size because I am working in CinemaScope, so I will need the height to be 818 to correspond with the 2.35 to 1 ratio. Obviously, leave this alone if you're working at 1080p. Now hit Create Scene. Before we start working, we need to understand the file formats that Tunes works with. There are normal raster formats such as TIFFs and TGAs, but there is also a special TLV Tunes raster format. When we are working, we have to make sure we work with this TLV format. Back in Open Tunes, go to the Browser tab on the top right to open the Browser view. Then navigate to our Trace Drawings, right click and hit Convert. We'll keep most of these options the same, except for file format, change that to TLV. Next, change the mode to unpainted TLV from non-anti-alias source. Also make sure to keep the DPI the same. Now hit convert. Now go to the palette tab. We will need the file browser again, so go to window, file browser to open it and find the converted TLV file we just created. Drag that file to the first frame of the first column in the exposure sheet. All the drawings will now be loaded on the exposure sheet and we can scrub through them. To paint, we must first set up our color styles. If you have ever used Toon Boom Harmony, OpenTunes uses a similar system to their color palettes. In the level palette area, right click and select new style to create a new color style. Double clicking on the style allows us to adjust its color. Then grabbing the fill tool allows us to paint the image. Note that using the fill tool automatically paints the color separation lines. Make a new color style for every new color there is to paint. The color of the color style can be changed at any time, and changing it will affect all instances of that color in the scene. A faster way to get color styles created is to load a color model, and have OpenTunes pull the colors from that color model. Since in the design stages of this project, I have already created a color model of the character, I can pull that in. I have also painted a couple frames in Photoshop, and these make good color models too. To load the color model, I will right click on the color model area, select load color model, select the file, then select add color models palette to the destination palette. As you can see, all the color styles have now been loaded in. And hovering over the color model automatically allows us to use the eyedropper, which is called the style picker tool in OpenTunes, to quickly select the corresponding color. Now we will continue to use the fill tool to paint our drawings. As we paint, we might run into situations where the line is not fully closed, thus preventing us from painting. One way to fix this is to take the brush tool, Select the color style of the line, and connect the lines with the brush. Another way to repair gaps is to use the tape tool. Select the tape tool and make sure its type is set as rectangular. Then draw a rectangle around the gap and this will fill it with an invisible line. As we paint, there will most likely be areas that are unpainted and they will show up as white dots. To see them better, we can use the transparency check found under view. This lets us see white spots much easier. Then I can use the style picker tool to select the color next to the unpainted areas and then use the fill tool, setting the type of the fill tool to be rectangular at the top menu bar. Then I can drag a box around the unpainted areas to paint them. Of course, I can do this outside of transparency check mode as well. Sometimes there will be white dots in the regular view that you won't be able to see in the transparency check view. These white dots are actually bugs of the software, and if you render out the scene by clicking on the eye icon near the top right, they will disappear. 
The white dots that don't show up on transparency check mode will not show up on our final render, so do not worry about them. I will also be painting the black outlines with a lighter color to give the drawing a bit of a highlight. So I will select my color style, then I will grab the paintbrush tool, not to be confused with the brush tool. Then under mode, I will set it to lines and this will allow me to paint just the lines. There are also some shortcuts we can use to help us work faster. They are B for brush, F for fill tool, A for eraser, T for tape tool, and K for style picker tool. We can also set additional hotkeys or change existing ones by going to File, Configure Shortcuts. For example, I have added a shortcut for transparency check to get into and out of the mode faster. I have set this function on F1. Now it's time to color the rest of the drawings. As a side note, OpenTunes has some additional tools that allow the paint process to be further streamlined and therefore faster. These advanced techniques allow us to paint multiple drawings at once. However, this tutorial is more about the basic usage of this software and will not go into them. Now that we have all our drawings colored, we can move on to the compositing and rendering part of this tutorial.